White House finalizing new Coronavirus guidelines ahead of 15-day expiration. Washington administration officials were still working Friday to finalize a list of options to present President Donald Trump concerning the next phase of national guidelines on coronavirus as he continues to push for reopening parts of the country. Members of the White House Coronavirus Task Force expect they'll continue preparing the options based on updated data into the weekend when they are expected to present them to the president, according to administration officials. Trump issued guidelines on social distancing meant to prevent the spread of novel coronavirus on March 16, but has said this week that he believes at least some Americans are ready to return to work amid a spike in jobless claims. The initial guidelines had a 15-day time frame, which will be reached early next week. He told governors in a letter on Thursday that risk considerations based on geography would likely dictate the next round of measures from the federal government. States have moved independently to activate shelter-in-place orders, with some closing schools through the end of the year, and all except businesses that are deemed essential. Vice President Mike Pence said during a press briefing on Thursday that advisors would present a range of recommendations for new guidance going forward after carefully examining the data. At this point, it's not clear if those recommendations will come Saturday or Sunday, but one administration official said it was more likely to happen on Sunday, so the most up-to-date data can be used when discussing the options. They are expected to mostly adopt the tiered approach to reopening sections of the country, along the lines of what Trump has laid out, with the variance being the level and speed of loosening the distancing guidelines. One potential option could be to extend the current guidelines for another length of time, officials said, even though Trump remains adamant the country start going back to work and doesn't appear inclined to re-up the current parameters. Speaking at the White House briefing on Thursday, Trump said he was intent on returning at least some parts of the country to a more regular way of life. We have to get back to work, our people want to work. They want to go back, he said. They have to go back. And we're going to be talking about dates, we're going to be talking with a lot of great professionals. But this is a country that was built on getting it done, and our people want to go back to work. I'm hearing, I'm hearing it loud and clear from everybody. In the letter to governors, Trump wrote that individual counties would be classified as high risk, medium risk or low risk, and that new distancing guidelines would be based on those factors. Officials said afterward the tiered geographic risk system Trump laid out in a letter to governors is still a work in progress, with continued questions about the availability of tests in each state. Trump has named some individual states where he expects looser guidelines to be offered. During an interview on Fox News on Thursday evening, he mentioned Texas, Iowa and the Farm Belt as places that might be able to return to normalcy sooner than others. He's also privately listed some states in the South like Alabama and Mississippi that don't currently have strict guidelines on distancing as places that should be able to open sooner. The governor of Mississippi thanked Trump on a phone call Thursday for advocating that some states can open more quickly. However Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, a Republican, on Friday ordered all non-essential businesses closed through April 17 after deciding on Thursday to close schools for the remainder of the academic year. Administration advisors have also warned Trump that just because states look like they don't have high case counts now doesn't mean they won't eventually. Louisiana has been used as an example of a place that initially seemed to be doing well, but where the situation has since worsened. Some advisors have been looking into the possibility of individual workplaces offering testing that would then allow some of their workers to return. Advisors are also exploring ways to scale up contact tracing at the local level that would help prevent the spread of the virus and further Trump's goal of opening certain places. Speaking during Thursday's briefing, Dr. Deborah Burks, the White House's coordinator for the coronavirus response, declined to provide a timeline for when more specific data related to state and local outbreaks might be available. The U.S. is also still working to scale up testing, which was hampered early in the outbreak by availability problems. On Thursday, Penn said more than 500,000 tests had been performed so far. Some of the medical experts on Trump's task force have publicly downplayed the prospect the country could return to normal quickly, including by Easter, the date Trump has said he hopes the country is raring to go. While he made that projection on Wednesday, he did not repeat the Easter date either during Thursday's briefing or his later Fox interview. Dr. Anthony Fossey, the top infectious disease specialist, said during a CNN town hall that Trump was giving an aspirational projection to give people some hope when he floated reopening U.S. businesses and getting Americans back to work by Easter, which falls this year on April 12. 
Pence echoed that during a CNBC interview on Friday. Fossey claimed that the president is listening to the medical experts on his White House Coronavirus Task Force about whether to make the decision to lift the government's health restrictions imposed to fight the virus. He's listening to us when we say we really got to reevaluate it in real time, and any decision we make has to be based on the data, Fossey said. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.